Well, here's a quick tip for those of you that work with um, web content inside of Adobe Photoshop. So suppose you're creating a design, and I've just got kind of a quick mock-up here, part of a page. And I want to take this and bring it to, let's say, Adobe Dreamweaver or something like that, or an HTML email. Well, I want to be able to slice this up using the Slice tool. So if I come over to my Tools panel, and I come to the Slice tool here underneath the Crop tool, and I click and drag, of course we're trying to decide how we slice this, where we slice this, that sort of thing. You'll get a more precise cursor if you guys use Caps Lock. It's like a lot of different types of uh, tools inside of Photoshop or Illustrator. And I can click, drag, and see what I'm doing here. It tends to snap, which most of the time is fine. Now, the thing about working with slices is that if you export this out and you save it, let's say for a web page, something like that, it's going to save that text as a picture. So what I want to do is I want to actually make sure that this is actually a text area, let's say. Now, I could do that a couple different ways. I could double-click on the area here, the slice, with the slice select tool, which is what I see here, and it brings up this slice options dialog box. Now, there's also another, there's a bunch of ways to do that, actually. You can right-click, etc., You'll see slice type right here, and we'll see image, no image. Now, if I choose no image, it's going to say, okay, we're about to create a cell with text in it. So it's going to leave it blank unless you guys type some text right here, okay? Now, it, that's, that's fine. If you guys export it as, as CSS, it's going to do something different. It's going to use a div. But I want to be able to take, let's say, this text and put it in that cell so I don't have to type it back in. So what I'll do here is something I should have done in the first place, click Cancel. I'll go to that text right there. Let me actually select that text. I'll copy it. And it's going to say, oh, do you want to substitute? Okay. I'll copy it. So edit copy, use your shortcuts. Go back to my slice select tool. Double click on my slice. Come to slice type. No image. And just paste it in there. So at least what it's going to do is keep that text in there. If we export a CSS, it's going to take that and it's going to Keep it out there for the most part as a uh, as the div or whatever it happens to be. If I click OK, we're done. Once we export, we get that as a text area, and you guys can do whatever you need to do in Adobe Dreamweaver. Pretty simple, uh, like I said, but I use this tip quite a bit. So there you go when working with uh, slices inside of Adobe Photoshop.